take another L. Designer on me, this they new Chanel. Did they splash? Did they drill? Yeah, yeah, champion, huh? Yeah, we here. From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle with Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons. Two teams more than ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Arrowhead. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble of bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards-Alaire. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. That's where they'll take over. Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. 21, Todd Gurley. Ben, and all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against him. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. From the gun, it's Ryan. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. And we talk about complementary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got the turnover? We appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. First and goal. A good pick up there, a 22. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. On first and goal, Gurley. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play that time, but it sets up second and goal. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers play with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. Back at the 10-yard line. They try to swing it on left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they put that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. I like his effort there. He got it done on his own. But let's face it, he puts defense in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. 
They go for it on fourth and goal, but that lines up incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the ball is going to be going back to the Chiefs. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's got a man complete. And all the way up to the 47-yard line. Mahomes fighting Hill for a big play. 45 yards. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. That's who is running back, Edwards Hilaire. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? They were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. Kansas City Chiefs. First down. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. We're scoreless after one. They'll run with Edward Tulare. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. At the line of scrimmage. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Eluding the pressure right. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive gain. On third down, here's Edwards Hilaire. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. Give him a couple on the run there, and now they're in that in-between area here on fourth and goal. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs' field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Butker's kick here is good, and the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. Well, the drive started the shadow of their own goal post all the way back at the two. Pretty nice job of getting downfield and at least getting three. Agreed on that one. A real nice job because really their goal was to get out of the shadows of those goal posts and give themselves a little bit of room to hit their defense. Instead, they got three points out of it. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And last time, they had it fourth and goal. Rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind and try to put together another drive. A hey, simple a tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Ryan going to get this complete to Hurst. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tickle's made at the Chiefs 42. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 42-yard line. And this will be incomplete. Physical on the foot. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Throwing again. Ryan, flush to his right. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. Second quarter, two minutes remain. 3-0 our score. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Again, Ryan. That's caught over the middle by Hurst. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. First and goal. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And the Falcons are going to be set up with a first and goal. He couldn't quite reach the chalk, but they'll have it at the one-yard line. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. Second and goal from the one. From the gun, Ryan. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Falcons have taken the lead. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Ku able to connect on the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Take it in at the three. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Takeover first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. A good pick up there, 26 yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Mahomes going to throw to the right side. It's Kelsey. Pass the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Up from his linebacker spot, Deion Jones making the play. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the 13-yard Now it's Mahomes again. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. They'll try and run it in with Bell. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Le'Veon Bell as the first half is winding down. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Makes the score Chiefs 10, Falcons 7. Harrison Buckley. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Now we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary, playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, you're only going to fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not going to be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. First down. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. Intended target on that one, Russell Gage. And that'll bring up second down. 
Final play of the half, it's Ryan. Escaping the pressure right. Airing it out, looking for Ridley. That's caught inside the 20. And finally, he's taken down at the 18. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. It'll be Falcons football, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. It's now second and six at the 29-yard line. Operating from the gun, Ryan. And he gets this one to Ridley, complete. Complete. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Of 21 yards. First down, Atlanta. On first down, it's Gurley. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. From the gun, Ryan. Flushed out right. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. It was Tyron Matthew, the honey badger, there to knock it away. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat. And if he flushes out, they're fine with that. And they force another incompletion. Intended target on that one, Russell Gage. And now it's third down. They've been trying and trying, but they haven't sacked him yet. He's been able to get away and make plays. Tried to make another one downfield right there, but to no avail. They'll have to keep up the pursuit, though, and not let him get high. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. <laughs> on third down, Ryan. And that is incomplete. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. And his kick is good. And that will knot us up at 10. So they come away from this opening drive of the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, that has to be job one, doesn't it? Touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. At their own 29-yard line. Let's go, let's go. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decision. He rifles one that's in First and 10, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Here's Gurley. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And that's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. 
And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. From 17 yards out. And the Falcons use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. Makes the score Falcons 17, Chiefs 10. Now following the touchdown, Hoff Richter to kick off. Fielded just outside the goal line. A oh, good looking return set up here. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in it, and let him throw another one. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Mahomes firing complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And that's why you do all the drills that you do from the quarterback position, because you're not going to just throw to your strength. The right-handed quarterback naturally will want to move to the right side to throw the football. But sometimes you've got to go left, and that's exactly what happened on that play. Forced to his left, still able to accurately throw it downfield for a completion. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 21. For the Kansas City Chiefs. That's the end of the third quarter of play. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. He'll find his running back, Edwards Alaire. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes caught Kelsey left side. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. 11 yards on the pickup. And they'll be faced with a third and in inches. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play. And that's going to lead him to fourth down. Attack, attack! Yellow, yellow! They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. This will be caught at about the six. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They get six yards going for it on fourth, and now it's first and goal. From the gun, it's Mahomes. The quick slant caught, and he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. That ties the game at 17. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. 17-17 the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Well, they set the power set out there, and their job is to be man on man and move people so they can run the football. But that time, too many men didn't get moved in the box defensively. They end up throwing him for a loss. And yeah, this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. 
Operating from the gun. Ryan eluding the pressure right. Looking deep for Julio. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. There's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open? Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Well, they've had success getting the ball to him out of the backfield, but this time they had a man right on him. He was able to break that play up before he could get started. Mahomes again here on second and ten. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. It's a gain of 22 as we tick towards 222 on the clock. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Now he's got it. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Rutger now to add the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. Makes the score, Chiefs 24, Falcons 17. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. This pass into the hands of the running back, Todd Gurley. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And the Falcon first down. Here's Ryan. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Brandon's okay with what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Willie Gay. A gain of three, second down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Flush to his right. Looking sideline incomplete. The throw ball line out Julio Jones, his intended receiver. But now it'll be third down. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver. But a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise. And he was able to bat it away. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Throwing now is Ryan. To the right side and complete to Hurst. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts. As they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. At the 19-yard line. He's back to throw. Escaping the pressure right. That is caught inside the five. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep first and goal. 59, ready. 
Now it's Gurley. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Second and goal from the one. They'll run it here with Smith. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we may very well be headed to overtime. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Chiefs take over first and 10. At their own the Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They'd like to avoid overtime here, so maybe they can work the sidelines, but then defensively, how do they adjust to that if they do work the sideline? It's the old leverage game, and we usually talk about leverage at the line of scrimmage, right? Who's going to win with the low blocking and everything that goes along with that? But in this case, you're trying as a defender to leverage them towards the middle of the field, not let them get to the sidelines and try and tackle them in bounds in order to run the clock out. Chess match here late, and he'll go out of bounds. It looks like right at the 40. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. To throw is Mahomes. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Bell. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First and 10 at the 50-yard line. From midfield, here's Mahomes. That one complete to Hill. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. So four quarters wasn't enough, and we are off to overtime. Don't change that dial. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. This taken in about four yards deep. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. At their own 18-yard line. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. As we said, they control their own destiny now. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Flushed out right. And he's going to keep it here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. Mahomes going to fire this out wide to Hill. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Mahomes complete to his tight end. It's Kelsey. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 39. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. And he's
he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Patrick Mahomes. If you want a lesson on how to defeat an offensive tackle, that was pretty textbook. Is that a clip and save? Is yes. that, that's what's going to go around the league, and people are going to watch that and say, Mike, that's how you do it. And I feel awful for the offensive tackle because we always talk about the athleticism of that guy who just beat him. Well, you have to be athletic to try and block that guy. Just in this case, the defense won. Throwing on second and long. Mahomes eluding the pressure right. He'll run it. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And the Falcons grab it. And he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. And a costly, costly mistake. Coaches talk so much about ball security in an overtime so paramount. Partner, do you ever wonder if maybe they talk about it too much? Too much, yeah. Doesn't seem like you can, but maybe by discussing it time and time again, and you know they overemphasized it here, it almost became self-fulfilling. And any points beat them here. Field goal or a touchdown now. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. At the 50-yard line. And now he'll tuck it and run. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Room here to run. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. In overtime. Today's final score. Now, partner, a great three, game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we got the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Kansas City. Let's hit the post-game tailgates and grab some of that barbecue. Yeah, BBQ.